guys so every week i recommend one topic which is normally ignored by everyone so if you can focus on that that topic every week so it can trust me save your time and we'll at least not ignore the topic so this week i want to pick up mixed allegation so mixed allegation is one topic which is coming for one to two question in every exam right from cat cet bank po gre gmat whichever topic your exam you are taking you will get at least one to two questions based on mixed allegations yeah and this topic is a topic which is normally ignored by everyone everyone want to focus on equations numbers and tend to ignore uh mixed allegations so this week what are you studying great keep on doing that but just add mixed allegation as one topic into your list of topics to be done this week so those who are following my weekly homework anyway this is covered in the weekly homework and this is one thing you can add in fact this week i'm connecting the workshop across marsha nagpur i am on thursday which is day after tomorrow friday um, i am in uh, thane saturday i am in pune and sunday i am in washi thane dadar borivili andheri so i'm i'm traveling to all the five location to conduct the same workshop so if you can come if you can attend the workshop in classroom or online same lecture will be recorded available online as well for the online students so in case you want to join us you are most welcome to attend the workshop in class yeah now coming to the mixtures point a mixture is sounds like a new chapter different chapter but end of the day it is based on averages so if you understand averages you will understand mixture immediately for example we have 20 boys and 30 girls find their average yeah 20 plus 30 divided by 2 50 by 2 25 is the average number of boys and girls now that is a simple average but if i talk about the weighted average number of boys are 20 and their weight is 60 number of girls are 30 their weight is 40 find the weighted average of boys and girls now so weighted average ka formula if you remember m1 w1 plus m2 w2 divided by m1 plus m2 where m is the number of students total students m1 m2 yeah that's the typical formula for ratios so i can use the formula to solve the question okay i think it's not too dark it's very dark to see so just in this resolution here now at least i think you can read that see okay so now we have this number so uh, if i put the values here so 20 boys into their weight 60 plus 30 girls into their weight 40 divided by total students 20 plus 30 50 so this is 1200 Six into two twelve, three into four twelve, zero zero divided by fifty, which is twenty four hundred divided by fifty, forty eight. Yeah, fifty zero zero cut gaya two forty by five is forty eight. So the average is forty eight. Now exactly same question. If I give you ulta, ulta means the number of boys is let's say the weight of the boys is sixty, weight of the girls is forty. and their average weight is 48 find the ratio of boys and girls boys 40 girls boys weight 40 girls weight uh, 60 40 average is 48 theek hai number of find the number of students now if you look at from a common sense point of view if i take a normal average 60 40 if the average is in between 50 both the number are equal imagine a taraju imagine a taraju to if i weight both the sides if the needle is in the middle so means both are equal 50 60 50 60 and 40 average will become 50 but if the average is 48 which is towards 40 sides so obviously girl jyada rahega than boys yeah so what i recommend so same thing is ka ulta same thing here so this minus this and this minus this is your weighted average so 60 minus 48 12 48 minus 48 So eight is to twelve, which is two is to three, is the ratio of boys and girls. And then if you give me the data, like boys are twenty, so if two is twenty, so girls get more. Thirty. Same thing. So ratio is basically inverse of averages. So if you understand averages, ratio uh, mixture you can easily understand. And there are five kind of question in mixtures. So if you can, we can do three, three, four, four examples of each of them. We are covering mixtures like anything. Yeah. So now, if you understand this thing, that mixture is based on ratios. I can use the formula as well, but this shortcut will help you to solve the question easily. I save time. I save my energy. I'll understand the topic easily. And if I do five type of question, there are. If I do two to three, three example on each of them, I'm sorted. Yeah. So this is the topic we are covering up this week. In case you are possible, in case if possible, please attend the workshop or you want to join us online, you can join us online. Yeah. So the description box I give you the numbers where you can contact us to join us. So Nagpur, 
I am there Nagpur Pune I am traveling Nasik also we are connecting this week so all the center we are connecting mixtures allegation this week so if possible please do attend the session all right so just call us call the numbers and they will invite you to attend the workshop all right all the best thank you